Everybody got head coach Brad Brown out. Uh, you know, great basketball game. Uh, incredibly proud of my players and team for the way we competed and, and uh, just stuck to what we were trying to do tonight. Uh, thought we played very well uh, on both ends and uh, give Duke's kids credit and they made the plays that they needed to make at the end of games. Uh, big baskets down the stretch. We had a couple opportunities that <clears throat> in the second half where I thought we got some good, good balls inside and didn't quite finish. Um, but, you know, you look at the stat sheet, we did, we did everything we can do in terms of 19 assists, made 10 threes or 12 threes, or whatever it is, took care of the ball uh, and guarded them about as well as we could guard them. It just wasn't quite good enough. So, uh, again, great game. Uh, our team's getting better. And, uh, again, really just proud of our guys uh, for their fight tonight. <clears throat> Questions? The fourth foul going into that final possession. Say that one more time. You, you guys had four fouls on that final possession yeah. going into Apollo. What were some of the things you were telling your guys going into that such a possession? Uh, well, there's only 38 seconds. We didn't think there was a lot of time. You know, if we try to foul three times, that wasn't going to work. We didn't have enough, enough time to really do a lot. I didn't think that would be good. We just, you know, we were going to guard them, uh, see what happened. Uh, you know, if we got a miss, we thought we could come down with a chance to tie or win the game. And, uh, you know, I, I got to see the play on tape. He got it in a pretty good spot and kind of powered through us and made a, you know, it wasn't an easy shot, but, uh, you know, we didn't quite get there with enough help. Uh, but, you know, we discussed whether you know, we're going to foul three times and, you know, make them go to the line and shoot a free throw. Uh, but I, I just didn't want to give up, a, give them points. You know, they, the ball was going to be in good free throw shooter's hands. So try to guard them and get it done. I just think we swarmed to the ball. Uh, you know, our guys played incredibly hard. I thought we we guarded the ball reasonably well. Uh, you know, probably not as well in the second half. But I thought when they got into the positions, our, our guys really tried to swarm and just, you know, make them uncomfortable as much as we can. They're big, strong, physical players. Uh, you know, they – they knock us around a little bit. And so we try to get some hands in there to get some deflections, have active hands. You know, I know we had six steals, I think, in the first half. I don't know what, what it all ended up. We ended up with nine, um, but just that. Uh, well, I, I wish David would have tried to score. Like we were trying to get the ball to David down low and thought maybe he, you know, get Mark Williams a little bit away from the basket. Uh, and I would like to have seen, I need to see that David have an opportunity to try to play through. He's a guy that scored in there. If you follow us, you know, he scored some baskets in there for us. Um, and obviously then PJ ended up with a shot. Uh, you know, it's okay. Uh, but we had some other possessions. I can't remember off the top of my head that, you know, weren't quite as good as I would have liked. Uh, but some of that's Duke's defense. And they're big, strong, physical guys. And, uh, you know, PJ didn't finish as well tonight against uh, Mark Williams as we probably needed him to uh, to win the game. Hey, Brad, you guys had uh, 15 fast break points, had that like 100 transitions. That's something you thought you guys could exploit coming in, and, and I guess the team looked like it was setting up the event at the end, but how much of that was something you thought you could exploit going on? Yeah, I mean, it just, I, you know. Transition points against Duke are hard to come by, and they're usually great at it. So, you know, we certainly we're going to run when we have opportunities. You can't let them rebound with as many guys as they rebound with, and then not try to attack in a transition. And so, we we certainly told our guys if we have numbers and you know to go be aggressive. And uh, you know, there were a couple of times I, I didn't think we ran as well, and we didn't have tremendous spacing, and so we didn't convert, especially in the first half. But you know, we certainly got some baskets that way in the second half. And I thought that helped us. Yeah, thank you. Really the second half. What, um, when, 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 when I go, oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, I'm really going to go in the second half. What do you think he did most specifically in that back half of the game? What did he do? Yeah. I think they just went to him a lot. And, uh, 
you know, he's he's a handful. He makes all kinds of shots. He made a couple threes. He drives it in there. He posts shit. He's a three-level scorer. Obviously, he's you know, almost 20 points a game. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's tough cover. I thought our guys did a decent job, uh, you know, of trying to make him uncomfortable at times. But obviously, at the same time, they got shooting all over the court, so it's hard to just – leave guys uh you know that's why they're good is they've got multiple ways to beat you brad how pleased are you with the physicality of your team tonight to out rebound them and score more points tonight yeah i'm very pleased i think our guys played incredibly hard uh you know we really blocked out i thought we were physical defensively uh you know we we didn't shy away from being aggressive offensively and playing in the paint and doing things that we needed to do, whether it's throwing it in, driving it in. Uh, yeah, again, I thought our team played, you know, almost as well as we could play. He was up seven with about nine minutes left. Just what did you see from your guys at Battle Bag and get back in the lead? Yeah, that's that's you know, been here a lot of times where you're, you know, you're on the ropes and it's seven or eight or whatever it is. And you know, you're one or two possessions from getting blown out. And it's, uh, I thought our guys chased made some plays. I thought our guys really hung in there, uh, got a couple stops, a couple transition baskets, cut it to a one possession game. You know, we did all we could do. We put game pressure on Duke down the stretch and give their kids credit. Uh, you know, two minutes to go, it was a tied two minutes to go, right? And they made some plays down the stretch and won the game. And, you know, so that's what good teams do. You put game pressure on them and they, they handled it. And uh, so they played like a top 10 team tonight. I guess the last eight days off, which is probably the longest for you've had in a while. So what do you want to kind of rest up? Obviously, some injuries and yeah. it's kind of the battle. Yeah, we, we, you know, PJ and, and Hunter Tyson for us need, need rest. Uh, both guys are playing, uh, you know, through some, some physical ailments that we get this time of year. Uh, you know, we just don't want to lose our momentum. This is, this is, you know, it's always hard. It was hard for our team when we didn't get to play Duke the last time because we came back from Christmas. We just won in Virginia. We were on a roll. We felt really good. We were excited about the December 28th, eighth game or ninth game. And then we kind of got put on hold for a while. And uh, now, you know, the last two games, Pittsburgh, we won. We played well tonight. You know, we'd rather be playing Saturday. But, uh, you know, we've, we've got some time, so we need to heal our wounds, make, make sure we keep this momentum uh, and stay connected and be ready to compete for the, the home stretch. With the way that you guys, uh, the way that you guys play on the inside, is it kind of surprising to see that you only went to the foul line once tonight? Uh, yes. <laughs> That's happened here before too. With PJ going six for 21, I believe, just in the south, hard to win. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, he's, you know, he's a tremendous player. Uh, and he had a couple of bad luck. You know, he had a tip dunk that he missed. Uh, got it to him low a couple of times. He usually scores. He had a couple of roll out on him. Uh, and, and now, some of this is Mark Williams, too, now. Mark Williams is a big factor. He's, you know, elite defensive player in this league. And, Block shots, bother shots, get you looking over your shoulder. Where is he? And that certainly happened. And you know we're playing with a young sophomore big guy that you know he's probably our best player. And you know there are times we we look like that. He's not quite as experienced. He's not quite ready to consistently be that level of guy. But he's going to be that guy at some point. And uh, tonight he hung in there and battled his tail off. I'm really proud of him. But yeah, we needed him to make two more baskets to win the game. That happens. Going to open it if anybody on Zoom has one or two questions. That's what we got left. Hey, hey coaches, Trevor with CUTigers.com. Um, Al uh, played the first five minutes of the second half and, and then sat uh, for the red. I think you brought him back in for that last play, but uh, was he okay physically? Yeah, he was fine. Uh, I just kind of felt like Nick got into a little bit of a groove out there and that team dynamic was good. You know, I talked to the staff about we want to run him back out or running back in there. They, we just kind of felt like, hey, the group that was playing was playing well, so we stuck with it. Gotcha. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Anybody have anything else? Thanks, everybody. <clears throat>